Yeah, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys my Solarian Architect Barricade build. This dude is a sleeper. I feel like he's very underestimated. I know a lot of people don't like him. They find him hard to play with. I just wanted to show you guys a build that I made for him to maybe, you know, help you guys out, help you guys find it informative. Um, he's a lot of fun to play with. If you haven't tried him, try this build out, okay? And then let me know what you think in the comment section below how it turned out because this dude is a force to be reckoned with. He's a beast. But um, let's go ahead and get right into it. So for Remnant, I'll go for rank four, I'll go for expedited repairs. This is good for survivability of the Remnant, allowing it to stay on the field for a longer period of time. It gives you plus 40% VI health regen and plus 30% VI health regen delay reduction. Rank five, I go for close combat module. This is gonna increase your Remnant health by 100% and it causes it to engage enemies at a closer range. This is good for being a distraction, drawing aggro, um, you know, buying, you, buying some time for you and your team to be able to rip down enemies at a faster rate without having to worry about getting dropped. Rank six, detonating missiles, this is what I go with. I like it, it adds explosive missiles to the VI's arsenal. I know people that the remnant is bugged, but for the purpose that this serves, I like that it, it's gonna be triggering tech combos and bot combos. It's definitely, definitely helpful for some crowd control. Rank six is good for electric beam, but I prefer the detonated missiles over electric beam, but that's just my personal preference. Barricade, rank four, I go for power cells. This gives you plus one power cell capacity, allows you to not have to hit the ammo boxes as often to restock on the barricades. Um, just having that one extra, you know, is definitely helpful. Rank five, I go for power feedback. This being a power build, I wanna to try to increase as much power damage throughout the build as possible. This is going to affect the remnant, the barricade, and the incinerate. So I found that this was the only option. This is the best option to go with. Rank six, I see a lot of people using regeneration. That's great. I prefer electric defense. Um, this causes the barricade to electrocute nearby enemies with a chance to stun them. This is good for a change of pace, slowing down groups of mobs that are rushing you. Um, anything going from Berserkers all the way down to the Audis, this is good for just stunning them, locking them down, okay? Allowing you and your team to be able to do a lot more crowd control and be able to rip up crowds at a faster rate. Incinerate, rank four, go for radius. Again, crowd control, the projectile affects all enemies in a two meter radius. I feel like that's self-explanatory. Rank five, go for anti-armor, uh, play only gold, so you're gonna run into a lot of bosses. I feel like this is effective, especially for the amount of yellow bar enemies that are, you know, in each wave and throughout the match. Offensive tech, rank four, go for power enhancement, plus 10% power damage, self-explanatory, plus 20% to all power effect durations. This is good, lets the incinerate be able to stick, you know, longer, um, being able to stun effect of your barricade to last longer, um, buys you enough time to basically trigger off more combo detonations and cause more damage. Rank five, I go for anti-armor, plus 30% power damage bonus to armor. This is gonna stack with all the other power buffs that you have going on with this build. Definitely something to go with. Rank six, I go for elemental tech, because this guy is all about status effects. Um, this inflicts a status effect on enemies, causes them to take more damage from heat, cold, and electricity. When you're using this guy, guns that I would recommend using with him that I found the most powerful the equalizer is really good. Um, the scorpion is awesome. Okay, and the scorpion is a sleeper I see a lot of people not using. Again, the scorpion is straight AOE control, um, crowd control gun. Uh, very, very strong. It's beast mode, especially when you're using incendiary rounds, disruptor rounds, crowd rounds, any of that. It's going to make you, you know, output a lot more damage. So definitely try that out. The falcon is also really good too. Again, crowd control, even the venom shotgun but I prefer lighter weight weapons just to be able to spam incinerate at a faster rate. But again, it's all about personal preference, guys. Support systems, I just have it up to rank three. This guy is a powerhouse glass cannon. Um, you can spec him up to you know advanced construction at rank five or all the way up to shield reset rank six um, or tech sabotage if you wanted to. Those are all good. I prefer to put the points in you know his power abilities. Um, that's just the way I built him, but you guys can do it however you want to. Hope you guys found the video helpful. Like I said, try the build out, guys. He's a monster, okay? He's a fun to play with, and you're going to surprise a lot of people. Um, 
you know, if you like the content, make sure to leave a thumbs up for me. I appreciate all my new subscribers, all the subscribers that have stuck with me. I couldn't be doing this without you guys. Y'all are the best, all right? And uh, if you're new to the channel and you like the build and you want to stay tuned for, you know, more build videos to come, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and stay blessed. Peace.
Time to go. Get to the extraction site.